did you know this nice and interesting and neat way of doing addition? You may already have heard of it and seen it, but practice makes perfect. If we had 356 added to 478, how would we do that in a quick and simple way? Well, what you need to do is you need to put them underneath each other like this, all lined up correctly. For example, this would be the wrong oops, this would be the wrong way of doing it. I only wanted to take away the four hundred and seventy six, but never mind. I've forgotten what the numbers are now. Anyway, these might be slightly different numbers. Three hundred and fifty six and for example, was it four hundred and something eight, four hundred and seventy eight? 478. That would not be a good way of writing it. You, because they're not lined up together, the units are not with the units, the tens are not next to the tens. You have to make sure they're lined up nice and neatly underneath each other. Okay, they now are nice and neat. The units are underneath the units, the tens are underneath the tens, the hundreds are underneath the hundreds. Now we can add them. You start from the right and you work your way left. Let's start with the 8 plus the 6. 8 plus 6 is 14, but we only write the 4 down here and the little 1 goes up here, like that. You notice it goes above the number to the left. We don't put it above the 6 and the 8, we're kind of done with them now. They used to be our friends, but now we've moved on. We're now focusing on the 5 and the 7, so the 1 of the 14 goes up there. Now we're going to do 7 plus 5 plus the 1. 7 plus 5 is 12, add the 1 is 13, so what goes down here is the 3, and the little 1 goes above this next number here. Now we've got 3, 4, and 1. 3 plus 4 plus 1 is indeed 8. So those two numbers added together should equal, and I believe do, yes, they do, they do equal 834. Let's try a, a longer number just to give you an idea. Let's try 4,800 and 93 added to you know what I think you get this I think you get it so much I'm gonna go for a crazy number I, wa I was gonna do a middle step but I think to speed it up we're gonna go straight to a, cr a crazy number so what we've got is four million eight hundred and ninety three thousand two hundred and fifty one added to 975,000 whoops 975,859 now I've got those almost perfectly next to each other but maybe if we move it slightly to the left and now slightly up then now they're perfectly aligned underneath each other so we can do the question notice how I didn't start with the 9 next to the 4, because that's a millions, the 4 is a millions, the 9 is a hundreds of thousands. So the units go with the units, the 10s with the 10s, etc, etc. Now we're ready. If we add those two together, draw the line underneath. 9 plus 1 is 10, so we put the 0 down here, and, you guessed it, the little 1 above the next numbers. 5 and 5 is 10, don't forget to add the 1, that's 11. So we put the 1 down here, and the little 1 up here. Let's switch mid-question to a different colour, just to be cheeky. Um, 8 and 2, wow, they're all turning out to be 10s here. <laughs> 8 and 2 is 10, add the 1 is 11. So again, we put the 1 down here, and again, we put the little 1 up here. 5 and 3 is 8, add the 1 is a 9. 
Wow, we didn't need to carry one over there that, that time. 9 and 7 is 16. So we put the 6 down here. And the little 1 up here. Now you might, um, whoops, above this one. Excuse me, let's delete that. Now you might have noticed um, that with addition you never need to carry more than a 1 which is different to long multiplication but that's a video for another time. Let's finish this one off. 9 plus 8, 17. Don't forget to add the 1, so that's 18. Put the 8 down here and the 1 up here. Now all we do is the 4 plus the 1 because there's nothing down here, there's no millions down here. So 4 plus 1 is indeed 5. So the answer we get is 5,869,110.